welcome back to our channel and today's review video uh, it's been a long time since i did my last review video so i thought why not uh, do on the product that really stole my heart and it's topped my favorite list so here i'm talking about my ever so favorite vanistic hourglass seamless foundation Uh, this foundation is not really very new launch in the market. It's probably, I think, even a uh, year or a more old uh, in, in the market. But um, in India, as you know, that this is not available. And ever since it has been launched, it is so attractive. It looks so elegant. It looks so classy. The appearance looks so perfect that I really wanted to buy this. But foundations are something I generally do not buy just on the base of YouTube reviews or just on the shade range available or shown on their websites because it's uh, in my experience this really doesn't match and for me I always always look for the perfect shade match uh, in the foundation so I waited for a long time to actually buy this and when I came here and I saw that Sephora has hourglass foundation I jumped and I bought it immediately uh, this I'm in the shade amber so this video is going to proceed in a manner that you know I'm going to just start with the technicalities the packaging the price so on and so forth then I will move on to my experience and at the end of the video I will be having a small demonstration on the whole application process so if you are here watching this video for the application process then I would suggest to just skip into the last part and you will get to see how the application really goes on me but if you're here to really see my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Okay, if you're here to you know listen to my thoughts, then thank you for staying back. Um, this foundation um, comes in 32 shade range, which is a lot uh, because I feel in today's world where everyone is trying to follow the Fenty route or the Huda route, where so much of skin variety is there, then why should someone like Hourglass fall behind? I think earlier they had launched in around 25 or 28 shades but now they've extended to 32 shades which is really a lot of variety. They've tried to cover in even the shades in between which they had missed earlier. This is available at 1880 baht in Thailand which is quite pricey and the amount that you get is 7.2 grams. Yeah, it's, it's really very low but trust me this cream foundation is uh, the formula is so creamy, is so blendable, it's so smooth that a little goes a long way. Um, the foundation, uh, sorry, the packaging is pretty much standard. Um, this is a ca cardboard packaging. It's brown color. It looks very elegant and nice. So when we open it, we come to the main product. And this is how the whole stick looks like. Ta-da! Uh, the casing is very firm, very strong, very classy. It's not cheap. I don't know if this is plastic or metal, but I think it is. It's it's a very strong plastic, but I really don't know. This much is the product, and the end part is where you twist it to open the product and get it out. Um, the shape of this stick is a triangle, which makes it really easy to apply it. Intricate areas like you know corner of the eye for the under eye then you know the sharpness in Between the crevices over here this shapes makes it really easy to apply it in all such areas You might feel the shade is light, but that's because my hand is very dark But that's the perfect shade for me. It matches me beautifully I'm generally not a cream foundation person but this product really stole my heart and I cannot recommend this enough to you all. If there is any one foundation that is a must have in your kit, I think it's this foundation. Firstly because a little goes a long way, you can really start using this foundation, build it up, go very light handed for a very medium coverage to go heavy handed for a full coverage. It does everything beautifully it meshes in your skin as if it's just your own natural skin tone it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look too much done and also to blend uh, to blend this foundation you can use either beauty blender or a brush i generally use this real techniques bl uh, bluffing brush it does a beautiful job 
for blending this foundation okay so let's take a closer look at the product here and i will talk something about the uh, lasting power of this foundation this foundation lasted on me for a good five to seven hours i sweat a lot and have a habit of touching certain areas of my face on and off throughout the day that's exactly where the foundation wears out easily whereas the foundation on the other areas which i don't touch at all lasts even long so if you are someone who isn't like me then you can expect this to last more than 5 to 7 hours on you for sure okay so um you have not applied anything on my face except for the um eye shadow and the mascara only the eye look and i have applied my uh, pretty much standard moisturizer you can apply the same so how this foundation stick looks on me I will be using my um, Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. You can clearly see that um, such a little product is more than sufficient for really a decent coverage. This was a uh, medium coverage and for full coverage we will have to probably go one more time but in this medium coverage if you can see uh, the whole pigmentation that I had around my face like my forehead is darker than my rest of the skin was covered practically for me if I have to use this I think I would just stop in here but just, since this is for the video purpose I will show in with uh, the full coverage scenario how it looks so I'm just going to go one more time maybe you know under my eye a little bit on the forehead the bridge of my nose and just places here and there So as you can see this is the full coverage look of this foundation and I have never been in love with a cream foundation as much as I love this foundation. It's beautiful, it just makes skin look so flawless and so pretty and so natural that you know just now with this full coverage you know you can't really make it out that oh I've gone so much heavy handed with my foundation it looks just like a pretty very much sheer to medium natural coverage kind of a foundation so it does a beautiful job at you know covering your problematic area so guys these were my views or thoughts on this foundation i hope this was helpful until my next video bye bye